Hi, my name is Jordan Burrs, and I'm going to be your host here on the Odd Shoppers channel for the entire FIFA World Cup 2022. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be posting daily prediction videos and bets on this channel every single day. Every single game, NHA videos, whatever you like, we're going to be here every single day. So make sure you're subscribed. Before we get into the Qatar versus Ecuador game, I need to tell you a little bit about No House Advantage. Now, they have two types of contests over here. One, which allows you to pick over and unders and enter them into a GPP-style tournament contest. The other, which we'll be talking about today are props over and under picks, which allow you to multiply your winnings up to 20 times. If you're a new user... Make sure you use code STOCHASTIC and you'll get your first deposit bonus of up to $50. That's code STOCHASTIC to get your first deposit bonus up to $50. Click the link in the description or it'll be pinned in the first comment. Now, onto the Qatar-Ecuador game. This is where it's going to get spicy. It's the first World Cup game of 2022. We know that those are always very, very heated. Qatar being the home nation are going to have plenty of support from the home crowd. Ecuador, a very feisty young side that will be looking to qualify out of this group. What adds to this is that Saudi Amane has said that he's not coming to the World Cup due to injury, which weakens that Senegalese side a little bit, which leaves the door open for sides like Qatar and Ecuador. This, this game is all to play for the first game of the World Cup. Whoever wins this might have one foot into the knockout stages. Now, what we do need to discuss is a couple of these players and whether we think they can go over or under. 0.5 shots or 1.5 shots. Sorry, 0.5 shots on goal or 1.5 shots. As you can see down here, if we add a couple of them, the multiplier goes up to five. If we expand that and we put $100 in here, you'll see that the payout is $500. The more you, the more players you put in, the higher your odds are going to be, the more your payout's going to be. It's also more difficult to hit the more players you get. So first, we're going to chat a little bit about how Qatar play compared to Ecuador. Now, Qatar are very good at attack, but their defense is weak. On the complete opposite side of the spectrum, Ecuador's defense is very strong, but their attack is quite weak. When you, what happens when you put two teams together like this is it almost becomes a stalemate. Nothing really happens. The rhythm is off, and it normally, it normally ends in a very low-scoring game. So I don't think there's going to be many goals in this. I did predict in yesterday's video, Qatar, sorry, Ecuador to win 1-0. So I definitely don't think there's going to be a lot of goals in this game and not a lot of shots either. Now, the first one that stands out to me is uh, the Ecuadorian striker, Valencia. He plays for West Ham. He's a very, very good player. In his 12 matches for Ecuador, his goals per game has been 0.3. His shots per game, 1.5. And his shots on target, 0.5. As you can see here, they've given us a 2.5 shots. So his average shots per game are 1.5. So to me, I think that's going under. I'm going to stick with the numbers and I'll take that free shot that No House Advantage are giving us. So I think that one's pretty locked in uh, for Valencia to go under two and a half shots. Then what I've noticed but when scouring the predicted lineups for these teams, there's a couple of these Ecuadorian players that are on no house advantage that aren't necessarily going to start the game. If they come off the bench, they'll probably have 20 minutes to make an impact. And that's not a lot of time to get one or more shots on target. So these players, now bear in mind, these are predicted lineups. It's not 100% going to happen. So if I was you, these lines close at 6 o'clock, which is kickoff time. I would keep refreshing the lineups. They should come out about an hour before the game. And if you see some of these players are starting on the bench, I would hammer the under on these players. So first one up is Estrada. We see that he's got the, the lines at 0 0.5 shots on goal. And he averages on goal, sorry, let me get there, 0 0.7. So if he's starting a game, you would normally go for the over. But if he's on the bench, I'm not backing him to get a shot on target coming off the bench, only playing 20 minutes. So I would go for the under there. And then the next one, sorry, that's Mena. I'm going for Estrada. And then Mena, um, he's also been said to come off the bench. I don't think he's going to start. A lot of the predicted lineups don't have him in. Like I said, check the lineups before the game start. This is almost a hack. If they're not starting, they're only going to have 20, maybe even 10 minutes to make an impact here. Many shots per game is 1.6 and shots on target are 0 
0.8. As you can see here, normally we'd be hammering the over. We'd be back in the odds and going for the over. But if he's only on for 15, 20 minutes, I'm going to go for the under there as well. Then we've got Risco, who's a midfielder for Ecuador. Same story. A lot of the predicted lineups have said that he's probably not going to start. He averages, let me just get there, zero shots on target. Yes, he's only played one game for Ecuador. He's normally quite good in the MLS. Um, but if he's coming off the bench again, I would hammer that under. Now, to me, if these three players, Estrada, Mene, and Risco, are starting on the bench for Ecuador, it's almost a lock for me that I'm going for the under. Then with Valencia, like I said, he, he only averages 1.5 shots a game. He might score, but he might only have one shot and score. So I'm going to take that free shot and go for the under two and a half. I don't really want to speak on Afif and Ali. They are the strikers for Qatar. They're decent strikers for Qatar. Ali got a goal in Qatar's last game. And Afif scored a hat-trick against Ecuador last time Qatar and Ecuador played but like I said I think this is going to be a very close encounter I don't think there's going to be a lot of opportunities it's going to be a match in the middle of the field lots of turnovers and I just don't see many goals so I would stay away from the Qatarians I think it's a little bit unpredictable to go above or below 0.5 shots on goal anything could happen but I definitely think these guys if they start on the bench definitely lock them in on the under so these are my tips for you. I would take these four. I don't really have any other ones that I would take. These are definitely my four that I would be going for. If you're feeling a little bit spicy, maybe adding a fifth over two shots. I'm not sure about that one. I would I would stick with these four. Play it a little bit safe. Like I said, check the lineups before they come out. They'll come out at five or South African time. I'm not sure what time that is in America, but they will come out an hour before kickoff. And if those players are starting on the bench, it's almost like a hack. Hammer that under. And to me, that looks pretty saucy. So if we expand this, we can see it's because we've selected four players, it's going to be times 11. If we bet $100 on that, our payout is 10, is 11 to 1. So we'll make a profit of $1,000. Like I said, I think those are the best picks for this game. It is going to be a very feisty game. Qatar versus Ecuador. Everything to play for. I definitely think Ecuador, if they win this game, might be able to make it into the knockout stages. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Again, if you're a new user to Know House Advantage, make sure to go use that code STOCHASTIC to get your first deposit bonus of up to $50 or click the link in the description. I'll be here almost every day. So make sure you subscribe to the Odd Shoppers channel. Leave us a comment down below. We do read them all. Hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.